smells like blueberries. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kylie Hayti. Uh, today on this video, I'm going to show you guys what I got for Florida. If you guys did not even know, I went to Florida like a week with my grandparents. We were just on vacation and see one of my family members, which it was really pretty fun. And it was really, really nice down there, which I love. It was so beautiful down there. But it was too bad. I had to go home. I just got home past couple days. It's really good to be back home. I would definitely go down there again, hopefully soon. I buy some things down there. Not a lot though, because I did have to save off some money. Money, money, money. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Florida. I think I'm gonna start off with clothes. I'm a clothes person because I love some clothes and try something new. I think that makes sense, but anyways, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So let me show you guys what I got. I did buy a couple of clothes, but not a lot. There was a store called Ross, Ross, Ross store, if I say that right. I have a hard time saying R word, so I'm really sorry if I sound really different. I can't help it, that's just me. The clothes were on sale. I said this before, I only buy clothes at Hot Topic, but Ross was different. They have different clothes, which I like. I bought a dress. It is so cute. I would definitely wear this. So this was on sale. It's so gorgeous, but I know you guys can't see that really well. I think I had to stand up for this, but I bought another dress too. It's, it's really gorgeous. I bought this for Ross. Short shirt it's different but i want to try this so i like different things it's different too as well so it's gorgeous all the clothes i bought are black yeah it's flowers i bought this really gorgeous flower shirt at ross ross keep pronouncing the word name ron <laughs> like i really love the colors on here so i would definitely wear it i got this also at ross you guys can't see that really well but you can wear like a bathing suit underneath here or a shirt. This is gorgeous too. You guys can't see that really well. I really do apologize. This is something new. I don't buy anything clothes at Walmart because they're just bleh. But except Halloween because they really do have Halloween shirts. I bought this really cute shirt at Walmart down in Florida. I don't think I have. I don't think they have the shirt around my area. I think only Florida does, but it's skeletons. It's different, it's a different color, but it's, I will wear it, it's so cute. <laughs> Last shirt, I got this at Disneyland. It was really fun, I actually did have a lot of fun down there. Uh, it was my first time going to Disney. I buy a Japan shirt, a Japanese shirt. It's so cute. It says, I love Japan. I collect Japanese things because I just do. I bought a lot of black clothes. That's just me. That's who I am. I just feel comfortable wearing black clothes. Colorful clothes, I feel not right, but I like to wear black clothes because that's just me. I went to a mall with my cousin. Uh, Nihao, that's her nickname. Her real name is so different. It's really different, it's beautiful, but I cannot pronounce it really, really right. Her parents and I went to a fancy mall at Florida, and to be honest, it was humongous. Like, it was so fucking big. My area, the malls are actually small, but this mall was humongous. There was a lot of stores were so fancy. I couldn't afford it because it was so fucking expensive, like literally expensive. I just don't know why people can't pay so much to go to a fancy thing. Went to Forever 21. All I bought was makeup. That was it. Some of the Forever 21, some of the is Walmart, some of the were at work. Rose. I got this makeup brush at Rose. It was cheaper, so it was on sale too. I actually wanted to try new makeup brushes, so can't help it. I got skincare from Forever 21. I really do have oily skin and I do have like dark things underneath my nose. I don't know if you guys can see it because I'm wearing makeup. I got I got casino from Forever 21. Makeup sponge from Forever 21. Mine's really bad, so I need to get 
a new makeup sponge, so I got this cute pink one. <laughs> I got these at Walmart. I bought a couple, but not a lot. I got more skincare. They're different, so I want to try. I want to see if these work out. If they do, I buy more. This supposedly lasts your makeup longer. I got a makeup spray from Walmart. I got a black lipstick from Walmart. And to be honest, I never tried these. I never tried this, but it actually smells really good. It smells like bubble gum. Mm, it smells really good. I should put this on later. Yes, I love to wear dark makeup. That's just the way who I am. I'm sorry. That's all the makeup I bought down there, so. Yeah, I'm a makeup person, so <laughs> this is really, really psyched. I really can't wait to show you guys. My camera stopped recording because I was out of, me out of memory, so I did have no choice to record this off of my mom's camera. It looks totally different. I'm sorry. I can't do anything. Can't do anything about it, so I'm sorry if you don't like it or not. But please ignore my background. I can't do anything about it to cover that. So, what I was trying to say, the Disneyland I went to was like, there was like countries like England, Japan, China, Canada, Russia, and France. There was nothing but adults and teenagers. The rides were alright, but they were just meant for little kids, which I understand that. I did not see a lot of like kids all i saw was adults and teenagers so basically this place was like countries but which it was totally different and cool what i got for disneyland i want to show you guys i got it's me messy ears it's nightmare before christmas which i love that movie i watch it twice it's totally different but it's so cute i love it i love the feathers up top i was going to get a normal me duck ears but they didn't fit me because it was too small and it was meant for the kids I don't know what was the name of the store I got this these years, but it was so fucking expensive. Like, really, really fucking expensive. And it was like, wow. But I got it anyway, so it's so cute. I know her original name is Mimas, but I was going up saying Me Duck, so don't judge me. I went to the Japan store, and the store was so, so fucking big. It was really big. I did want to buy a lot of stuff there, but there were so many things were so fucking expensive. I got this gorgeous poster. This is the first anime poster I ever got. I never did have anime posters. I usually have band posters, like one of my favorite bands on my wall, but this is literally the first anime poster I ever got. I got Yasha. I know you guys can't see it right now. The reason why I got this is because my favorite character is actually Shishomaru. Iyash is my favorite character, but Shishomaru is like, damn. Just damn. <sighs> He's so hot. Iyash is awesome, but I love Shishomaru more. Okay, there we go. I got chopsticks. I love the color. The color is so gorgeous. It's like bluish and purplish. It's so gorgeous, and I love the design right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is so gorgeous. Eat out of it, but I'm not going to because... I'm not because I'm just collecting this. Because, like I said earlier, I collect Japanese things. I got a fan. It's gorgeous. The reason why I got this fan because blue is my favorite color. <laughs> I can't help it. I love blue is really one of my favorite colors. And I got my name in Japanese. So let me tell you guys a story about this. When I was about to check out, like pay everything, um, there was a girl. I, I just to let you guys know, I love. Japan's accent. I just do. I don't know why. I just do. I love their accent so much. This girl asked me if I want my name front or back 
of my fan. I told her the back and she said, what was my name? And I said, Kylie. I really, really feel so bad for her. Like, I really, really do because she did not know the English of ABC. I did have to say Kylie, but it's spelled so different. But I feel so, so bad. She was a really, really nice lady and she was very, very polite. When we were about to get out of the Japan store, there was two ladies were sitting down next to the Japan store. Um, they asked us, they asked me and my cousin my Japanese name, like they can write down. And I was like, yeah, sure. So they did. This is how you spell my name in Japan. The girl who did my name, she didn't know English. English, so I'm pretty sure this is right. This one, I'm not 100% sure this is right. So I think I think my name's still wrong, but oh well. I actually did want to buy things at England, but I there, there was nothing there. There was literally nothing there, and I was really quite upset. I met two girls. One girl was from um, Scotland. The other girl was from England and I really love their accent. It was so really fucking expensive down there. So yeah, that's pretty much it what I got from Florida. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Please comment below if you love this video or what's your favorite part of this video. Whatever you guys like to say. And don't forget to subscribe because you may become a Liz. I see you was in the next video. Love you. Bye.